Okay, verses 20 through 24. It says, Then Jesus began to denounce the towns in which most of his miracles had been performed because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be lifted to the heavens? No, you will go down to Hades. For if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Sodom, it would have, rem uh, it would have remained to this day. But I tell you that it will be more bearable for Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. Jesus had apparently performed many miracles in Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. So keep a finger here in Matthew. And if you got Bible maps in the back of your Bible, go back and find those places. So the Jordan River feeds into the Sea of Galilee from the north, and then it comes out of the Sea of Galilee in the south and goes on down to the Dead Sea. But the, the Jordan River feeds into the Sea of Galilee from the north, and these three cities are located right around where the Jordan River feeds into the Sea of Galilee. And Capernaum and uh, Chorazin are on the west side of the Jordan River, right as it leads into the Sea of Galilee, and Bethsaida is on the right side. Or on the east side. Okay? Jesus says here that if he had performed the same miracles in Tyre and Sidon, the people of those cities would have repented in sackcloth and ashes. Now, if you still have your maps, you can go back. Tyre and Sidon are along the Mediterranean Sea. Okay? To the west. To the west. And because the Jewish cities of Chorazin, Capernaum, and Bethsaida had greater exposure, greater revelation, and more opportunity, but didn't repent. They'd seen the miracles of Jesus. They'd heard the preaching of Jesus. And because of that, and they didn't repent, Jesus says it will be worse for them on the day of judgment than it will be for Tyre and Sidon. Because Tyre and Sidon didn't have the same exposure. They didn't have the same revelation. They didn't have the same exposure. Jesus didn't perform miracles there. They didn't have the same revelation. Jesus didn't preach there. They didn't have the same opportunity. Now, Romans 1 says, everyone has enough revelation to make themselves responsible and accountable to God. So Jesus isn't saying here that Tyre and Sidon are going to be saved. Okay? But what he is saying is that these three Jewish cities will suffer more at the judgment. What principle does that teach us? The more you know, the more you are responsible for. Well, this continues, because Jesus amps it up even more here now. Tyre and Sidon were Philistine cities in the Old Testament times. They were the enemies of Israel. In the New Testament, they were pagan Gentile cities. So the Jews had little regard for them. But then Jesus indicates that Sodom and Gomorrah would have repented if they had witnessed the miracles. And even today, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah represent the worst of the worst, don't they? I mean, even, even people who aren't very familiar with the Bible, you talk about Sodom and Gomorrah, it's like, oh yeah, you know, they, they know it. And Jesus tells these Jewish cities, I tell you it will be more bearable for Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. James chapter 3 verse 1 says that teachers will be judged more strictly. Why? Okay, yeah, the teachers should have more knowledge, right? They know better. You're speaking on behalf of God. And so... The more you know, the more you are responsible for. Um, do you realize that you will be judged more strictly because you are here tonight? Because the more you know, the more you are responsible for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now he talks here about the judgment. What is this judgment? Well, for the unbeliever, it means greater condemnation. For the believer, it means we open ourselves up more to God's discipline. Okay? 
Our, our sin has already been judged on the cross of Jesus Christ. But God disciplines His children. So if you know, if you know the Bible, and you're not living out what you know, God will discipline you. Better hope He disciplines you. 